Um, we're really privileged to have um, Marc Antoine Cyril and Maxime over um, from Nice. Um, we've, um, I quote unquote, just kind of um, gotten to know Maxime's uh, trading and incredibly happy and impressed with that. So I think a lot of good things to come between um, us and these guys. And um, um, hopefully, as well today as Tarek, you'll have an opportunity uh, to learn a little bit from Cyril, Marc Antoine, and uh, Maxime. So. Uh, Okay. Uh, hello, everybody. So I will speak slowly because my English is not the best. Okay. So, so uh, just to introduce myself, I am Marc Antoine, and I began in uh, 2007 uh, in Amsterdam with Tarek and with Maxim. We are in a, in a hedge fund, a proprietary trading firm, and uh, it's in this place that we learned uh, how to read the order book. Okay. We did not. Uh, we did not uh, learn that at university, uh, but everything has been uh, learned to us in this, uh, in this company. It was a very good company. Why? Because all the traders we, uh, who were around us were making money, all of them. No one was losing money. So we began to, to learn how to read this order book, okay? And after, okay, after years, Tarek, Maxim, and me, we specialized. We specialized because we have our own point of view on markets. And after with this tool of order books, we wanted to make our stocks. Okay? So Tarek is doing his own trading, and I will explain to you a little bit our own trading, which is a little bit different. Uh, we are scalper, so we like when there is volatility. So uh, I trade. Uh, very uh, huge, mar very heavy markets, such like the boons, such like the euro stocks. But I also like the crude oil. Uh, I also like uh, uh, the gold, the Russell, and all volatile markets. Because when you are a scalper, where there is volatility, there is scalping to make. It, you, it's just your work to know how to see this volatility and how to adapt your strategy, to adapt your aggressivity in this market, okay? So, to, for us, we do not use charts, okay? We do not use charts because charts, it's a lot of information. And if you are focused on all this information, you are not focused on the other book where there are a lot of other more information and more, more, and more important. So, if you have both of them, okay, you will spread your mind and on which one will you focus the most? Okay, so firstly, we are the charts when we learn, and to us, I prefer to specialize only in our door book, such as like I prefer just to try to see the moves in this. Okay, so this is my point of view. Many other people can, can work with these two tools, okay? But to me, you lose many information using this other. So this is the first thing I wanted to say. The second one is, uh, it's very difficult to have a prediction, your own prediction on markets. Okay, maybe the gold will go higher, but when? Okay, and of how many ticks? So, or you are a very good analyst on everything, and of course you will make money. Or you are, uh, you, how do you say humble? Sorry. Humble. Humble? Humble? Or you, you say to you, uh, okay, I'm not, I'm not very good analyst, and I will try to focus on something else. When you look at all the books, you will see that they are, during the day, there is volatility. Okay, firstly, when there is no volatility, there is no trade, no possibility, so you do not trade. So you are trying to find some markets where there is volatility. When there is this, this volatility, okay, if you look at a lot of days, this market, so the oil, for example, you will see, okay, from Monday to Friday, it will decrease. Okay, the market has lost five, five dollars, six dollars. Okay, in these days, okay, there are a lot of moves. When there are these moves, these moves are tradable. So you just have to focus on how are moving these moves, okay? Okay, of course, as Tarek told, uh, he say, okay, maybe on this market it's dangerous. Of course, he's, he's right, it's dangerous. Because if you go there and you make a comparison between the volatility of 
uh, bone market or bubble market with this one, of course, is more dangerous. But if you know how is the volatility, if you know to adapt your strategy on this volatility, the worst, which is, okay, I can lose a lot, the, if you work well, you can win a lot also. So it's just you to adapt a very good money management model to your strategy. When you trade, the first thing which is the most important is not how I will try to enter my position. It's what are my risk parameters. So when you are a swing trader, there is one risk you do not master. It is during the night, you can have a gap. So the day after, this parameter during the night, this time life during the night, you do not master it. That's why I prefer day trading because at five or six or maximum at 22 when the, the boon open, close, sorry. Okay, you know all your risk, okay? Because you are in front of your screen and you don't give to the luck or to the bad luck the chance to have you. Okay, the first thing is more secure. And when you know all your parameters, okay, you can fix a model, a money management model when all your parameters of risk are mastered. Okay, that's why in swing trading, a lot of people say, okay, I make, I make a money, 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 and one day I lost everything. Okay, because sometimes there is these gaps that, okay, you lose a lot. This is the first thing. Uh, so I don't, I don't want to be long, just to focus on, on order books, to focus on the one who, which are moving and the one which are moving less. So, and you try to see the recurrency of the moves, okay? You don't try to understand what there is under that. I don't try to understand why the bond is moving up and why it's decreasing, okay? I just want to see, okay, I've just seen in five minutes ago the boon moving up and after <coughs> I saw in the order book a seller during one minute on four ticks. Okay, I have that. In that, you, you see this, this models, you see it during the day 10 times, 15 times, you say, okay, maybe I have a point of view on the boon, but I have, noti I have noticed that on the boon there are this kind of moves. Why I will not trade these small ticks, okay, not understanding and not having any prevision on this market? To my point of view, this is scalping. You don't have any point of view on where is going to go the market, you just try to grab to grab the volatility, so to grab all these small ticks you can have during the day. So this is how we are trading, and it happened that at the end of the day, we did not know where has finished the market. It was down of 3%, because it's not because the market is going down of 3%. You cannot try to find shorts in after a huge, uh, during the day, a huge uh, hike, or the opposite, okay? So I think maybe you could go in this direction only to look at the books, look, and to read them. Read them, what does that mean? To read what is going during the day and during a small time of, uh, during small time. Okay, so that's why uh, I wanted to say. Okay, awesome. Oh,